We're going to ask you to do some word problems in this section, so I'm going to go over just a few, not all of the types that you will run into, but a few that I think that will give you a head start. Joe was carrying around 36 coins in his pocket. He only had nickels and quarters, and they totaled up to $6. How many nickels did Joe have? Well, first I want you to see that we, anytime you're talking about money and things, that we have two things here. We have the number of coins and the dollar amount of coins. And he has two different kinds of coins, nickels and quarters, and that's what we're interested in. So the very first thing that you have to do on a system is define your variables. Your, and in this case, we're going to use X and Y. And we're going to let X represent the number of quarters and Y represents the number of nickels. So in this particular instance, I am going to first write an equation that only has to do with numbers. It has no dollars in it. And I know that he has 36 coins in his pocket. Don't know how many quarters he has, so we're going to call those X. And I don't know how many nickels he has, so we're going to call those Y. But I know if I add them together, I have to get 36 coins. So that's my first equation. Now, we're going to write an equation about the dollars of the coins in his pocket. And we know that that is $6. Joe has $6 in his pocket. Now, we have quarters, and they're 25 cents. And we represent that with 0.25. I know if I, rep if I multiply that times the number of quarters he has, I'll get the dollars of quarters he has. And if I add that to the dollars of nickels he has, and I'm going to do that by 0 .05 is how we represent nickels. Be careful and don't put 0.5 times the number of nickels he has. If I add those two dollars amount, two dollar amounts together, I have to get six dollars. So now we have a system of equations that we can solve. Now I'm not going to go through every single step because we have gone over this and gone over this, but you are welcome to have your teacher explain it if this doesn't make sense to you or go back and watch some of the previous videos. As you can see I rewrote one equation I solved for a variable and in this case I solved for quarters and I plugged it into my other equation and solved for nickels and Joe has 15 nickels in his pocket. So that is one of the types of equations that you will have to solve. Another is like this one. You know that supplementary angles are two angles that equal 180 degrees. If one angle is eight more than three times the other angle, how large is each angle? Well, we're talking about two angles. And obviously, one angle is larger than the other angle. So let's define our variables first. We're going to let x represent our smaller angle and y represent our larger angle. Well, the one thing that we do know is that both of those angles added together, both x and y, the large and the small, has to equal 180 degrees. All right, now if you notice in the word problem, they define the larger angle in terms of the smaller one. They're saying one angle is eight more than three times the other. So I'm going to say my larger angle is eight more, which would be eight plus, three times my smaller angle, which is x. Now I have a system of equation I can solve. And one of the equations has already been solve for y, so I don't have to do that. And I substituted my y equals 8 plus 3x into my original equation, solve for my smaller angle, which was 43 degrees, plugged that back into my 180 equals x plus y, and solve for my large angle, which was 137 degrees. So you'll get an question that's similar to that. The last question that I'm going to go over is where you are going to be comparing two things. And you've actually solved this kind of equation before. You didn't even know you were using systems to solve it. Zoe goes to Jump Fitness Gym where she pays a $210 initial fee and then $15 a month. Wyatt goes to Silver's Gym that charges $45 a month. After how many months will the two gyms cost the same amount? All right, well, let's define our variables. We're going to actually write an equation for each gym. 
So we need total cost and number of months. So let's let y equal total cost of the gym and x equal number of months that you go to the gym. So let's write Zoe's gym first, which is jump fitness. So the total cost of jump fitness, which is y, is going to equal the $210 initial fee plus the $15 times every month. So that's our first equation. Now Wyatt's gym, Silver Gym, the total cost of his is going to be, well he has no initial fee, so his cost is only going to be $45 times each month. And that's my second equation. Now notice that both of these equations are solved for y. So it should make it pretty easy to solve them using substitution. Now in this one, I took the 45x, which equaled y, and I substituted it into y for my other equation. So I basically set the two equations equal to each other and solved for x, the number of months. So in seven months, both of those gym memberships will cost the same. Now, you will run into other problems in Math Excel, but you can do it. Give it your best shot. Use the Help Me Solve It.